So cruising with Corey is taking a little hiatus. Uh, we're doing a land travel vlog today. Um, so I decided to come up to Grand Haven, Michigan um, and visit my sister and her family uh, for a somewhat of a long weekend. Um, and today we are out at Reinders picking blueberries. So here we have Sophia. Why are you wearing your mask, Sophia? You're out, out and uh, away from everybody. Yeah. You're just trying to be safe? Kind of. Well, that's good. So let's show show everybody what you're picking. Blueberries. Oh wow, look at all those blueberries already. So how do you know what kind of blueberry to get? Like what's a good blueberry? Yeah, like over here. They're kind of darker. Like this one's a good one because it's big and dark. So what does it mean when they're darker versus lighter? Darker means they're sweeter. Ah, so that means they're ready to go? Yeah. countryside. Plants. A greenhouse. A greenhouse. Let's see how many you got. It's very warm in there. Wow. You, you're doing pretty good. We got a long ways to go. You gotta fill that thing up. Do we have a bunch? Yeah. Let's see how many we got so far. Doing good. Prime for the picking. I can't stop eating. How are you doing, Nicole? Wow, you've got a ton. Sophie, you've got I'm lots of work worker. to do. Oh, I see what she's doing. She's eating them all. Yep. I am not. Bill, how are you doing? Uh, about a quarter of a bucket. That's pretty good. Yeah. Ford and Sophia. Yeah. <laughs> Sophie, you gotta up your game. It's impossible to not eat them. They're so good. Yeah, but your dad's eating them too, and he's got more than you. That's because he's picking the big ones. I'm picking the little ones. After a very successful day of picking blueberries, and we got a good parking spot, a good parking <laughs> spot here in Holland, Michigan. Um, and beside me, I have the fabulous. Who is that? What is your name? Sophia. Sophia, did you have a good day? Yeah. What did you do so far? You have blueberry picking. Yeah. Did you get a whole ton of blueberries? All together, yes. Were they really good blueberries, Sophia? Yeah. So, so if you picked a pound, how many did you eat? Probably like 20 pounds. You had how many pounds did you eat? Probably like three. She probably three. No, but they were really good blueberries, huh? Yeah, like maybe like a cup. So do you know where we are now? What what area? 
Colin. Very good. And yeah. what are we doing after this? Of the blueberries. Dang, blueberries. <laughs> <laughs> and are we seeing a movie tonight? Yeah. What movie? Jurassic Park. Are you excited? Yeah. You are? That's not what I heard. <laughs> But yeah, it is exciting. It's one of my favorite movies. 1991, Ford Explorer. When I saw that trailer, I got excited. Good. We're going to a, a regular used movie to call theater. Them previews. They weren't yeah. called trailers back then. That's true. <laughs> no, we're not going to a regular theater. What, what kind of theater are we doing? A drive-in. So how does that work? So you go... Do you drive your car into the movie theater? No. No? So it's like a big white screen and then there's a big projector behind and you drive your cars by the movie screen and you turn on the radio to a certain channel and then you get to hear what's playing and you get to see it. So it pays to have a good sound system in your car, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Does Dad have a good sound system in his car? Papa? Yeah, no, no, he does not. Bill, you having a good day? Yeah. What did you order for lunch? Uh, the crab melts and coleslaw. That sounds delicious. I'm hoping. Did you get soup? Yeah. Nicole, what did you order? Uh, French onion soup and a turkey avocado tomato sandwich on a croissant. That sounds lettuce. really good. Lettuce. And lettuce. Yes. Sophia, what did you order? A TLT. I ordered cream <laughs> of mushroom soup. That's it? Just soup? Yeah. So I ordered the soup, the forced mushroom soup, and the Jaeger schnitzel. I think you should go see what I'm going to So here we have forced mushroom soup. Nicole's got her deliciously gooey. Ooh, look at all the onions. Well, that's called French onion soup. It's gonna take a minute to cool off for me. Oops. A few moments later. <laughs> that's good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Beefy. Mm -hmm. Nicole, that's your what? Turkey croissant? It is my TLTA. TLTA. Bill, you got the crab cakes? Crab melts. That looks really good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And here we have the uh, Jager schnitzel. Peach juice and popcorn. Five hours later. Hello. <laughs> oh, hi. Oh, hi. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> <Who's he coming? laughs> it's dinner time, and we are at the Hearthstone. What is the rest of it? Bistro. Hearthstone Bistro, um, and then after the dinner tonight, we're going to a drive-in movie theater, and we're gonna watch what movie? Do, 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 do. Okay, let's not I started right. slow. Yeah. Okay. Do, 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 okay, there we go. <laughs> also known as Jurassic Park. So we were just can advised. I, can I change to the steak? Oh, shit. Yes, can yeah. I? With a side of ranch. <laughs> you sold me on the ranch. <laughs> medium, please. <laughs> Thank medium, you. Medium, not medium rare? No, I don't go oh. rare. I don't want a pool of blood. So that's just how it's good. I like pink steak, but not. So we were just advised that uh, they make their own <laughs> ranch dressing, and that, that made Nicole change, change her mind from the... What did you order? Chicken, Chicken salt milanese. and milanese. So I ordered the um, French onion soup and the chicken salt and mocha sandwich. Um, and Nicole got the chicken milanese. No, yeah, no, no ste steak. Steak, steak. Free. She got the steak free. And little one over here got some. What did you get? Noodles and sauce. Yeah, noodles and parmesan. And Bill, what did you order? Oh, with marinara. Bill, what did you order? Um, the bluegill. So here we have the French onion soup. <laughs> oh yeah, it doesn't look very brown. It looks stringy though. So we have our dinner has arrived. Um, we have the chicken, like chicken salt, like the salt and boca. Oh. Nicole, you got the steak. Yep. It's delicious. Thanks. And Sophia has her 
marinara. Pasta. With applesauce. Gil, what you got the fish? Uh, the bluegill. You have to let us know how it is. Okay. But most importantly, wait, one's missing. What's the most important thing on the table? The ranch. Is it, is it good ranch? Is it good ranch? I don't know yet. I've tried it and it's super duper 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 good. Theater one, here we go. Theater one. Oh, it does say theater one. Theater one. Right here to the left. Totally not So how close do you like to go? Where's the screen? Right there. Oh. I guess there's no um, boxes. Oh, living for the shirt. Living That's for the sweet. shirt. Yes. Nice yes. shirt. <laughs> okay, I don't know where I'm going right now. I guess I want to turn around. What, what, what am I doing? Somebody give me some feedback. You can suck. Whatever you're doing, I'm videotaping this disaster. It's about to unfold. That's hilarious. It's super helpful, too. I try. What are you doing? Trying to back in. Thank you. No? I don't know either. I'm not sure. That is worth a shot. Thank you. I have melted butter. I don't want to. Shake that butter. Yeah, I will. Or shake that popcorn. So here's our setup for the Jurassic Park feature Excuse film. Excuse me. Sophia, I want you to not be in this vehicle right this minute. I'm going to get all cozy into the blanket. What are you going to do? I'm going to sit in the trunk, use my jean jacket as my pillow, and wrap a blanket over me. Because I want you got them. bugs crawling all over you. I know. It's a pretty sunset, huh? Last night we went to the Getty Drive-In. Um, my first time at a drive-in movie theater it was rather interesting. It was kind of cool though to see a you know a big screen and be outside and whatever. But only downside um, about seeing a movie at night is the mosquitoes. Definitely, if you go see a movie outside at the drive-in, you plan on sitting outside your car, um, definitely get some off or bug spray because kind of distracts you from actually watching the movie. Also, if you have a good sound system in your car, that kind of helps. Um, but today we had uh, blueberry pancakes, used some of the fresh blueberries that we um, picked the other day. And um, now we are at the beach, although it is a bit of a cloudy day. Had quite a bit of rain last night. Um, but down off in the distance, it does look like the clouds are starting to break and might have some sun later this afternoon. Um, but yeah, we're here in Grand Haven, Michigan on the beach and it looks like there's not very many people here so kind of a, a lot of open area to spread out and enjoy the beach. So not sure what we're gonna do this afternoon. Um, 
or this evening, but probably cook something at the house and call it a night. Oh my gosh, it's freezing. It's really cold. How did you like the drive-in last night? I mean, it's good. Yeah? Yep. Did you go again? Yeah, I would go maybe in the fall. When there's less mosquitoes? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or, I mean, if we kept the windows up and just did the, you know, facing forward the whole time, that would have been better. Yeah. Bill, did you like it? Yeah, it's good. <laughs> Uh, the mosquitoes, but it was fun. What's it doing? It's doing a hyperlapse. Are you gonna go run into the water? Yeah. Like just super fast, just run in, don't give a crap. Okay, okay I'm watching. Three, two, one. Oh boy. <laughs> you make it look like it's hot. Get in. If you if you get in, you'll be much more comfortable. You gotta go all the way in so you can get used to it. You look up to my side. What? No, you gotta go all the way in though. Huh? You gotta go all the way in so your body can get used to the temperature. <laughs> okay. Are you gonna go run in without the tube? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, go for it. Three, two, one. No way, what? I would do it. I would. Good job. Now stay, stay in. Don't come out. I'm freezing now. Yeah, but I bet that felt good. Oh boy. here now in Grand Haven um, down at the Grand River. Um, this is like where a ton of boat traffic happens, both pleasure boating and fisher boat, uh, fishing boats. Um, even they have some um, Great Lake cargo ships that come in and out of here and bring, um, I want to say it's iron ore down to the plant down there behind me, but I'm not exactly sure what, what kind of material it is that they deliver. Um, also behind me is the they call it the musical fountain um, and on, I think it's just on the weekend or on Sundays maybe at night they have uh, music that plays and um, a bunch of water fountains kind of similar to the Bellagio but not quite the same caliber as the Bellagio so we just left the beach um, had a good time over there it wasn't uh, too sunny 
Um, it's about 75 degrees right now, a little bit humid, uh, but it's not bad. So uh, we're having lunch today at the Tip a Few Tavern. Um, it's a Mexican dive bar here in Grand Haven. Of course, there's some alternate choices, which are probably better quality, but uh, this will be a really good lunch, something that I remember from my childhood, having uh, good burritos and chips and cheese and whatnot. But um, yeah, it's wet, it's all muddy. So uh, we'll go ahead and check that out in just a little bit, and then uh, we're gonna probably make dinner this evening. Um, but yeah, so far we're having a good time here in Grand Haven. We just got back from the beach. The water was like, 50 degrees or something, it was freezing. Not 50, it was like 73. No, that's what Papa said. It's yeah, but 73 and the water is cold. You know. <laughs> like 85 is warm. Well, it was really, really cold. And I had to dunk a few times for me to get used to it. Yeah. And I sunbathed for a while. Yeah, good thing you didn't get sunburned probably hard to do that with it being so cloudy, right? Yeah. The drone dried you off, didn't it? Yeah. Did, the, did it buzz you? It buzzed over your head? Yeah. Were you scared it was going to hit you? No. Okay, good. I wouldn't do that. Anything else you want to say? Um, we're about to get lunch at the tip of you. Okay, well let's go ahead and start walking because your mom just texted me and said come now. Okay.